I'm Tamaya, and I go to Washburn, obviously, and I'm gonna be representing theater, the theater class we have here, Black Box. Okay, what got you into this class? Um, you really don't need much to get into the class. You just kind of have to have a passion for like speaking publicly and just kind of acting and getting out of your comfort zone. So if you're really good with that, then you can join theater. It's very fun. Great, what is this class like? Well, I'm in theater three, so we focus more on creating plays that have social issues in them, like Black Lives Matter, LGBT, and stuff like that. And we also get to tour when you're in theater three. Theater one, you get to do tributes on like a person that you really love, and then you start to talk about issues. And it's the same with theater. Hey, um, I'm Aaron, and I'm from Black Box Theater, theater three. Uh, here at Washburn High School. Okay, great. Um, what is the most interesting thing about theater? Uh, the most interesting thing about theater for me is probably making connections with people and uh, just losing uh, that stage fright that people often get when they're out there, you know, doing presentations during class or whatever. You know, you kind of get used to speaking in public and just improvising situations. Great, um, how do the grades work in theater class? Uh, theater class, uh, for grades, it's pretty simple, you know. All you have to do is um, be committed to theater three, um, be respectful, uh, be on time, and always participate. And yeah, you'll be good with grades. Hi, I'm Macy Rysich, and I will be in IB Art. The atmosphere is really nice um, because the space is really open for the most part, and it gives you a chance to work independently uh, because you're not really working with others, and it's kind of like a time where you can like reflect on your own creativity and ideas. And you get all this like freedom to do whatever you want. It really makes you think a little bit. Creating anything that was three dimensional because I like working off paper and I like working with my hands a little bit more rather than just a pencil and paper. So I think creating anything that has to do with other materials like using flashlights and shadows like all that's really fun I also like working with the camera so you can use a lot of different media like tools so cameras pencils crayons anything so it's really fun kind of working with different types of media in your work do your work in class always keep working with art even if it's like doodling a little bit in a sketchbook I would say that's the main part that you should be worrying about. I mean, you would have a little bit of homework maybe over the weekend, but that's even like taking a photo of a, a bird you saw or just like a bench. I, working in class a lot and that's fun. Thank you. <laughs>
uh, which is very nice because you're going to need to be reading both of those if you want to become like a full-time musician or just be playing guitar a lot. What do you enjoy about this class? I enjoy that, at least for me, it, it's kind of a more relaxing uh, hour of my day, so it's, you do you know, have to pay attention and everything, but you don't really have to sit down and just rack your mind trying to think of everything you can. Uh, like you have to in some other classes. You, know. you have a lot of freedom with what you can do in the class. Um, a big part of it is uh, working uh, with other people in a small group. So if you want to have a group with, let's say, a guitar, a bass, a singer, and a drummer, you could make a full-on band and uh, practice a little bit of that. Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's kind of a free day for you to work on whatever you want to, as long as it's you know related to guitars and music and stuff. I think the learning environment is very relaxed. Uh, it's not really high pressure in that class. Uh, Mr. Ritzma really understands uh, if you don't get something and he'll really try to help you and it's, it's a really nice learning environment. Really become a lot more comfortable with reading notes and uh, that's something pretty important if you want to do classical guitar kind of stuff. I, I think uh, I, I'm planning at least to go into a kind of a musical career and uh, you know certainly having an hour out of the high school day to you know, do something related to music will really, I think, help me along the line uh, with doing more musical things as uh, time goes on. I think you should do it if you like guitar. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely pretty fun. Okay. What is your name? Hi, I'm Shadia. I'm a junior at Washburn High School. I'm going to talk about the guitar class in here. The class is so fun to be in. It's just so much fun to be in. You get to learn how to read chords, notes, and stuff which is actually fun to learn. <laughs> the most thing I like in guitar class is playing guitar, obviously. I really love music, so guitar was a good choice to, good mm. class to be in. Most interesting thing I learned from the class is um, how to read the notes. It's a, a whole new experience. It's like learning a new language. Working with others, creating friendships, participating in class was fun. How to be successful in that class? Basically, participate and come to the concerts and you have your A. And that's all the questions. Hi, what's your name? My name is Nathan. What class are you in? I'm in band and jazz one. When we get to play music in school, and there's a good community in the class. In jazz, we went down to Augsburg College and studied with a woman named uh, Bria on some pieces. Uh, we've also had some fun concerts. To be successful in it, you have to show up every day and try in class, then you also have to be sure to practice outside of class. Okay, thank you. What is the class like? Uh, Spanish class is very fun. It's the second year I take it now, and I'm a student eight for the class too, and it's fun, interesting than all the other classes. It's just, it doesn't specifically just focus on Spanish, it relates to other topics, and it's interesting. Then we talk about current events, about more than just one country, and focuses more on everything else than just Spanish and the rules. Uh, when we did a project about Day of the Dead, when I did a box in a friend of for my grandma, and it's kind of hard since I take it IV now, but it's mostly, it's nice, and it's not that hard. Hi, my name is Sienna, Sienna and I'm going to be talking about ASL. Uh, it's a really relaxed class. Um, it's an elective, so you choose to be there since you're with people who have like interests. So there's a lot of... Um, you can't talk, that's against the rules. Our class does struggle with that a little bit, but that's the premise. It's all signing. And yeah, it's really interactive. There isn't a lot of homework. I like it. I think the thing I like most is just being able to pick up on the new signs and just realizing that you know those things. So you'll be like walking through everyday life, and you're like, oh my gosh, a hallway. And in your mind, you're like, hallway. I know that sign. But I also like that it's a language for visual learners, which I'm a very visual learner, and I think sometimes learning a language like Spanish or French, it's very um, oral, which can be hard for a lot of people, so it's a good language for visual learners. One of the really interesting things you learn in sign language is about deaf culture. 
Well, I think the biggest thing we did in class was learn how to tell um, a folk tale that's really important to the sign language community. It was called Timber. So we learned about that and we learned how to tell the story ourselves. And I think storytelling is always a good way to connect with the community. Okay, really it's the simplest thing ever. You show up on time, you respect yourself, you respect your classmates, you respect your teacher, you listen and you sign and you don't talk and you try your best. And if you're trying your best in class, you're gonna learn whether you think you're learning or not. So it's really just that easy. Hi, what's your name? My name is Jasmine. What class are you in? I'm in Arabic. And we do a lot of writing, TRFs, which are like something you have to fill out before classes and you have to do your own ask questions. You write them on the TRF. This year you had to learn about, you had to write an essay about yourself. And it was nice to write something about myself and go to and learn some new things about myself. When we get to sit in circles and talk about stuff that's happening in the world, we get to give your opinion and just have a discussion about it. To be successful in every, you have to get your work done. And you have to do every week, you have to do reflections about how your week was and successfully your class here in Okay, thank you. Alright, is that it? Okay. What exactly is IB language and literature? 11th and 12th grade uh, English course offered at Washburn High School and it's basically your typical English course. You write papers, uh, essays, and read a lot of different city units um, studying different types of everyday media in our class called New Media. Yeah, I would say this class is really fun. We have a lot of group work, um, collaborative based presentations, and also fun reading and so on. Everything is great at an IB rubric, so you always are held to a high standard, but there's definitely uh, time to work with your friends and read stuff that you want. The biggest difference is probably just the IB rubric. Like I said, everything is graded on that same rubric, and also probably the pace of the class it probably just goes faster, and maybe the texts that you read in class are different as well. Okay. Those are our questions. What class are you in? I'm taking IB HL Bio. It's fun. We do like different things every day. We do like a bunch of labs and like lectures that are pretty interesting. Like we've like cut open a heart and like there's like stuff with sugar and like really random stuff that you wouldn't think we'd do every day, but we do it. I definitely like biochemistry the best because like you learn how like life works and stuff like the structures of biology is all in like biochemistry and like the nucleotides and stuff. My favorite lab that we've ever done was cut open like I think it was a lamb or a sheep part that was really interesting because you got to see like all the components and like really like you like learn everything and there's a lot of like hands-on stuff. It's hard but like you, you have to like push yourself a lot. Um, an A, to get an A, like a solid A, you have to get a, at least a 94.5, I think. So it's pretty difficult, but you just like have to prepare yourself a lot. AP Lit and Comp is a lot of discussion, a lot of independent work. It's basically giving you uh, the resources you need to learn about the language English and like learn about more about the classics and like all the stuff that you've always wondered about so it's really cool. Uh, I really like our, uh, the people that are in it because we work together a lot to uh, find out the themes and like go deeper into the text. We don't do a lot of projects, we do a lot of essays, we do a lot of um, independent thinking and independent work and then collaborating to share I our ideas. So our discussions get really um, really interesting and really heated sometimes. Uh, it's a lot of fun just doing those discussions and learning what other people think. Just talking to other people about the things and seeing their perspective uh, is really interesting and reading these texts that you've heard about like all your life like right now we're reading Macbeth and next we're doing Frankenstein so like these texts you've heard all of your life uh, actually reading them and actually like Getting to know them and like reading them for yourself is really fun. It is a difficult class, but um, most people I know, if you like work hard at it, then you'll get a good grade. If you do the work, you'll learn, and if you learn, then you'll get a good grade. Um, the teachers are really good about making sure that 
if you learn, you get a good grade. Um, if you work hard and you read the book and you actually think, I think a lot of it is independent thinking. So if you can think for yourself and really like get those ideas going, uh, just getting creative thinking going, that's how you get the grade. Like, okay. African American studies is basically just a course of going throughout time and history, speaking about African American people and their histories and struggles and ups and downs throughout American history and current times too. I like that this class focused on not just the textbook, but what we could learn from other perspectives and from other textbooks and online. We had two guest speakers come into the class that taught us so much about certain things that we never knew about, like words we never knew meant such negative way for African American people. The most interesting part about this class is having a Caucasian teacher. The teacher that teaches my class, Miss Mary Durkis, is very dedicated and so committed to what she is teaching us. Like she's not just teaching us outside of a textbook, she's teaching us from what she sees online and around her community, around the Washburn community and what we experience, like the fourth precinct movement and the Black Lives Matter. She makes it all current for us and um, although she can't really experience the struggle and the like the pain that black people went through, like emotionally and like eternally, she understands what we're going through that we really hurt. Something exciting I did in this class, I would have to say was the current project that we did, which was connecting modern modern issues with uh, African American history, so cultural appropriation, police brutality, Black Lives Matter, connecting all of that to history and seeing how that has trailed on from years and years and years of struggle. How do you succeed in this class is just giving your your best foot forward. It's all about like what you interpret in this class and what you what your views are about the class first of all, and then how you succeed is just trying your best and making sure that everything you do is 100%, not just halfway. All right, thank you very much. Uh, my A push class is very rigorous. Um, there's a lot of assigned readings and a lot of assigned homework as well as many exams and projects. I think what I like most about A-Push is that um, our teacher, Ms. Durkis, she's able to adjust to our um, our lifestyles and our schedules. So if there's too much reading, she's willing to just switch readings and just do questions and not really have assigned readings for every page. I think the most interesting thing about A-Push that I've learned is um, how the U.S. the U.S. came to be and um, how the U.S. came along with wars and revolutions and everything today. Something exciting that I did in class was when we did our Civil War timeline where we picked, I think, 10 time, or events and we put it on a timeline and we were able to just go um, dig deeper into like what was happening at that time. In our class, it's 80% summative and 20% formative as well as there are many projects to make up like bad test scores or missing homework assignments. I'm still able to like keep updated with everything and um, be organized with all my assignments and stuff. Hello, what is your name? My name is Ovalis Garcia. Well, the class is like um, you can build telescopes. You have a lot of theory about pulsars, um, the universe, expansion of the universe, and a lot of theories. I like the most that we get to build some telescopes and um, get in the, high, the school roof and see a lot of amazing things on it. Um, we also did like uh, like a game, a little game that we get to build our own spaceship to go. Yeah. Uh, I think the most interesting thing I learned was about pulsars. I really like all the kind of stuff and how the stars collide and make supernovas and um, how the dark matter and the dark energy like work together and how much is the percentage of the dark matter in the universe. The most important thing in a class is not to get a good grade, it's to like um, understand what we're talking about and just we have to do a little bit math, not a lot of it. So it's a class that everyone can take. Um, it's very interesting because you learn a lot of things, not just from astronomy, besides like 
other stuff that you see every day, like chemistry, chemistry and physics. So it's very interesting. So overall, you'd say that you like the class? Yeah, I did like it so much. It's very fun. Okay, thank you. Andrew Kreider. And what class are we interviewing you for? AP Statistics. Uh, what is the class like? Um, basically, we start out with like a five minute warm up uh, where we just review what we've done over the last few days um, and sort of like get back into the swing of things. And then we usually have a little bit of, we have a lesson that usually lasts about 30 minutes long, um, which is really interesting. It goes over like some new information and ways to apply that information. And then we'll get like 20 minutes to just like work on like worksheets and stuff and like get started on homework and stuff like that. So yeah. Uh, what do you like most about the class? I like how all the information we're learning has like real world applications and like everything that we do in the class I can take outside of the class and still like apply it and be able to learn. I'm learning like about the world around me and it's really useful information and it's just, it's, yeah, it's useful. Uh, what is the most interesting thing you've learned? The most interesting thing is probably, I don't know, I'm pretty interested in like sports and stuff and we do a lot of like analysis of sports statistics which is really interesting and that like, I don't know, I can use that in the real world and like better interpret statistics that I see like online and like better know like what that information actually means and how reliable it is and stuff, so I think that's cool. Uh, what is something exciting you did in this class? Uh, I mean the most exciting thing, uh, probably um, we had, before a test, we had a, um, a casino day where our teacher brought in a bunch of like casino games and we like did, we like got to play the games and stuff for a while and then we like went back and looked at the math behind them and like how likely you are to win and what the payout's gonna be like over time if you keep playing and stuff. So I really enjoyed that and that was like more real, real world application and stuff. Uh, how hard was the class and how were you graded? Um, I mean if you, if you do the work, if you pay attention in class, you'll get a good grade. Like he shows us like graphs of like our, our grades like as a class and like how we're scoring like on a curve and stuff. So um, yeah, most, most of the people are on the upper end. It's not, it's not too bad. If you do the work, if you study for the tests, you're gonna do fine. It's, it's not hard to get a A or a B in your class. All right, thank you. Yep. IB Math Studies is a one-year course that involves um, the use of quadratics, calculus, trig, and um, and statistics and uh, the whole year is dedicated to preparing you for the IB exam as well as um, the final at the end of the year yes and um, can possibly lead to getting credits in college this together is pretty fun as long as you pay attention in class and you do the work it, the class should go pretty easy for you uh -huh. Hey y'all, <laughs> I'm Lexi, I'm a junior, and the class that I will be talking about is IB English with Mr. Schmidt on the, the class. It's not a class that's like super duper like hard, but it does challenge you, especially if you're someone who doesn't like to read like me, like I'm not a reader. Sometimes I like to, you know, look at Schmoop's notes, but um, it's a class that you can definitely learn from. It's fun. I like the kids, and I like my teacher. My teacher's really funny, he makes nerdy jokes, but... He's really cool. Um, I also like the energy that like the class gives off. Like everyone's really cool and chill. And like if you have a question, you can like ask your friend. Like it's. I think probably the most interesting thing I've learned was when we read the short stories by Edgar Allan Poe. They're like there was a lot of them, but they were weird, but they were interesting. But we did do this thing called the IOP, which was um, an individual like presentation where we where we had to analyze a piece of text and then we did like a piece of like something that was art from it. I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly. Like creative piece, you know what I mean? Like I did like from Edgar Allan Poe, I did the black cat and I had my presentation which was pretty cool. I used hashtags, you know, I'm pretty cool. And then I had brought in like a cat that I painted that was super cute. I'm 
awesome in the class. Like, we just took a final, and I was pretty sure I didn't know half the stuff he was talking about, but I got 50 out of 50, so the grading in the class is it's pretty good. Like, you'll, you'll survive. Um, I'm Samantha Wheeler, and I'm a junior in HL Math Year 1. There's a lot of independent work time, or, like, time to work with your groups. So usually there's like um, a lesson like once or twice a week or a video that you watch at home that teaches you about like the subject we're talking about and then you'll get like a homework assignment every night and you work on it at home and then you also work on it in class like with your partner at your table and stuff and then about every three weeks we'll have like a test and you spend time in class preparing for it. I really like how you get to work with all your classmates. And um, whenever you're like struggling with a problem, you can ask your friends in the class, and everyone like works really well together. So you have a lot of time to like talk over problems. So it's not just you working by yourself. The most interesting thing we learn, I think, is how you can connect like all the different types of math. Like we might be working with like shapes or geometry, and then like include trig and include quadratics, and like tie in all the things that you've learned like throughout all your math, and it all kind of comes together. An exciting thing I think we do is just like being able to present in front of the class. It's like we do it all the time, but everybody gets an opportunity to like show what they know. And when you like work really hard on a problem and you finally figure it out, and then you get to like show it in front of your class and explain it, it's nice because like everybody gets a chance to do that. So that's fun, I think. I'd say you definitely have to spend a lot of time at home working on homework and you'll get like packets of exam style questions to prepare for your test so you have to like make sure you spend time working on those and um, also it's good to like work with other people in the class so if you like meet with them after school or something that can help you figure out the problems too. My name is Milan Stolman I'm in pre-calculus. Well I would say the class is definitely challenging like there are new things that you learn every day but um, it's also rewarding at the same time. Also, I would say like everyone in the class is helpful and especially the teacher. The class is really, really, really interactive and in, like how both students and um, teachers help each other out so that everyone can understand the new topics. I think that the class is definitely manageable. You just have to try your best and like put forth effort and then you'll find success. My name is Ajara Rasmandari and I'll be talking about theory of knowledge. Um, it's a lot about questioning if you really know something, so you look at a lot of different topics such as, do you really know that you know this? So it's a lot of questioning. Uh, what I liked most about it was that it kind of connected with everything that I've learned in my other subjects, so you kind of learn about history and math and it kind of um, evaluates the principles of whether you actually know it or it's just taught to you and it kind of helps you evaluate um, all of the knowledge that you've gotten and kind of separate it into categories of whether you actually know it or if you just know it because your teacher taught it to you. The most interesting thing I learned was probably the theories of reality which were like um, there was one theory that I really liked that said like everything is just how you see it but there's also other theories that say like your eyes can't actually perceive everything and that um, what you see is not actually what is in there. Like, what you see is not actually reality and that there are different parts of reality that you cannot perceive. I think something exciting I did in this class was probably the presentation which you do at the end of the year, which is about 10 minutes, but 20 minutes if you work with a partner and the presentation kind of just reflects everything that you've learned in that class and it's a really good um, overview of what you've learned. My advice would be to just do your homework on time. I know Mr. McKenzie does a one day late pass so like if you don't turn in your homework then he'll give you an extra day to do it but just try to do all your work on time and if you do all the work that you're given then you'll succeed.